Anyway, here we are. We're on our way to Gene Winfield School. We're gonna go to his uh, metal shop school, see if we can learn a few things from old Gene. Cause you know, like Gene says, every day's a school day. All right, here it is, people. Ooh, this is the uh, notorious Gene Winfield custom shop here in the Mojave Desert. Got a convertible 57 Chevy sitting up there. This is how you pull up to the gate. Looks like he's moved a bunch of stuff. He used to have a bunch of shit in here. Is that a Merc on the wall there? Yeah, he's got a Merc up there. So if you've never been to Gene Winfield, so I'm just kind of giving you like a pull in. So we're gonna get out real quick and then show you guys around. Okay, so here I am standing in front of the legend Gene Winfield's house. It's a shop over here. Um, we're, we're way late. We're like an hour and a half late for the class. Of course, I told Gene I was going to be a little late today because, well, Merlin was going to come and he broke down. And we all slept in a little. I'm not going to lie. Check this out. Now, a couple of years ago, Gene was looking for a couple of gas pumps and I found him these two old gas pumps. Didn't that look awesome? Okay, so we're gonna go into Gene's class and I'm gonna show you guys some 92 year old bad ass. Steve Darnell! <laughs> Good to see ya. How are you doing, man? Making these guys work? <laughs> So you've seen some of the metal class. We're on lunch break, subway. Now we're gonna go into Gene's museum and walk around and check out his little museum. It's pretty badass. Stuff and all the attitudes and all this attitudes here. Not anymore, not at the gas station. You gotta go to the auto parts store. <laughs> yeah, and then have good luck. Yeah, my, my first shop was a chicken house behind my mother's house. This is the actual fuse box and light switch out of my chicken house, built in 1946. And they make that light switch to this day. <laughs> yeah. Come on in. I got Model kits. I worked for AMT Model Company for nine years as a styling Steve. consultant. They have someone with my name on the box, Gene Winfield, Gene Winfield. This was my 40 sedan delivery. In 66, they boxed it up. They put my picture on the box. Then. <clears throat> Four years ago, he brought it out again. Nice big picture of the vehicle inside. They put my same picture on the box. Is your car I built 62 the car right different here. ways? 41 Ford right here. And that's the first edition right there. And then they painted it 62 different ways? Yeah. 62 different ones. There are 12 NASCAR ones, Santa Claus, Halloween, Puerto Rico, and on and on. This is my logo. I created that logo in the army in Japan. Come home in 51. So I've been using that logo since 1951. These are all the magazines he's been in. So here's the shuttlecraft that Gene Winfield designed. It is actually at NASA right now. Two, three hundred cars or more. Yeah, he's lifetime. He's built probably more than that. Look, at there it is, right there. All forms too. So here's his Star Trek room. It's like set up like the uh, Star Trek ship. Got the seat. <clears throat> it's pretty cool, huh? Into the other well, coming and going. Hey guys, so look, um, 
I'm over here at Gene Winfield's and I just want to take a minute and say, wow, what an amazing man this guy is. He's 92 years old. He's in here just working all day. Like we've been here all day. I've not seen him sit down one time yet today. He's in here just, you know, going nuts on this metal work in here today, sorry. And, um, you know, it's just, it's crazy to look at this guy. He's, here, let's check his yard out. Just cool shit laying everywhere. But here's a guy, 92 years old, that's been doing car customizing for 70 years, 75. Think about that for a minute. That is a long time, 75 years of somebody that is that old that has accomplished so many things. I mean, this guy, if you don't know who Gene Winfield is, you need to research him and look him up. I mean, this guy was friends with all the famous people. I mean, he built cars for tons of TV shows. And, um, you know, it just blows me away. I mean, um, we, uh, I don't know, man. You just, you look at this guy and you think, here you are, you've accomplished so much in your lifetime. And now you're here teaching a class and he doesn't just do one. He does a lot of classes every year. You know I mean? This guy's like, I don't know how many classes he does a year. I would say probably 40, 50 of them. I mean, he flies all over the country, not just the United States. He's in Canada. He's in Finland. He goes everywhere to teach his classes. And um, I just think it's pretty unreal that a man that has been through the war, that has done things that, you know, most people have never seen or even thought of. I mean, that's a lot of years of um, experiences and things that he's seen, you know, it just blows me away. And here he is today, 92. We got a little class going in here. And he's, telling, he's teaching us how to chop cars and French headlights and pe teaching people how to torch weld. And um, tomorrow we're gonna weld aluminum. And it's sad because, you know, I mean, usually his class is bigger, but you can see that it's it's kind of a dying breed. You know, like people don't wanna work like they did back then. And I know things have changed and we have machinery that does it for us now. But to see the handcrafted stuff that he's doing is so cool. And, you know, I just have to give him so much respect for what he's doing. And, you know, it's gonna be sad uh, the day that he has to go because he's teaching so many people right now and really spending time with people. He don't have to do this. He doesn't have to be here. He chooses to be here to show people. And <clears throat> it's just cool. I'm in the middle of the class. I got looking at him and I'm sitting there thinking about him. I thought I'd walk out here real quick so I could just say this and get it off my chest, but Gene is a true friend of mine. I love him. You know, we met, I don't know, maybe seven or eight years ago. And um, yeah, man, it's just been great. And I just wanted to share that real quick to kind of kind of put it into perspective a little bit of hard work and a passion that you love. Like this guy loves this, you know? So anyway. Okay, so here we are, we're still at Jeans. It's nighttime. He's still in here teaching class right now. Yeah. He's still teaching, still teaching us about building hot rods. Dave was filming him and fell asleep with Cameron. Yeah. Yeah. Seriously. Come on, get up. You know, Gene Winfield's putting on a class today. Hey, Juice. What's up, bro? It's, it's time to get up, bro. Come on. You know, if we don't show up to Gene Winfield school on time, I'm blaming it on you. Well, you were late yesterday, I was ready. I'm ready to go right now. Let's go. Let's see. Okay guys, here we are. Day two of Gene Winfield's class. Oh, dude, look at this Columbian rear end laying here. 
That's badass. <laughs> Dave's doing some vacuuming. What are you doing, Dave? Ah, <laughs> oh, shit, we got busted. Look who's here. Say what's up, Gene. Good morning. How are you? Every day's a school day. <laughs> it is. We're ready to rock and roll. I got that shirt on. Every day's a school day. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so what are we doing today, what's, Gene? What's he going to vacuum up? Uh, he's trying to get the dirt cleaned up. Oh, you broke it, Dave. <laughs> Good morning, <laughs> good morning. How are you? I'm wonderful. Thank How'd you, you sleep, man? Sleep pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. What are we doing today, Gene? Oh, we're gonna do some leading and we're gonna do some gas welding aluminum. <laughs> that is so awesome. That's what I'm talking about. Do 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 Look at that 57 Chevy two door sedan sitting out here just rotten. That has my name all over it. Yeah, so Gene's just got a bunch of random stuff out here. <clears throat> it's a cool little junkyard. Stuff everywhere. Looks like we got a little 59 El Comino. Not much of one. Cool shit. All right, boys, we better get to class before Gene kicks our ass. Let's do it. So that's Gene's junkyard. We're gonna get back in here before we get get our asses kicked by a 92 year old. <laughs> you see, it has picked up a slight curve in the metal by bending that over because you're you're stretching a tiny bit as you hit it. You're stretching it, so the stretching here puts that curve in there. Move pretty fast across the sheet, move a little faster. Keep it going, keep the rod in there. Keep it in. All right, here we are, we're checking out. Gene, thanks for the school. Oh, you're welcome. We had a good time and- um, you Come back anytime. Now listen, if you guys have well, never been to Gene Winfield's school, right. you better come, thanks for having us. right? No yes, no they teach them everything. We've Actually, been through everything today, so I'm going to break it down a little bit more, but before we go, I just wanted to say bye to Gene. Thank you. My friend, I love him. Thank you. We'll see you guys later. Thank you so much. Okay, guys, well, we're heading out of Gene's here in the Mojave. Awesome weekend. Yeah, it was. What did you guys think? Learned a lot. Learned a lot of behind-the-scenes tricks and tricks that they don't, they don't teach in classes, you know. Yeah, I mean it's it's really kind of old school. Like the method that Gene is teaching is is gone. I mean you don't learn this very much anymore. And it's like I've been to this class three times. Every time I come, I learn something new. So it was cool. What'd you think, Davey? It was awesome. It was a lot of beneficial information. I am, you know, I'm a I'm a novice at this stuff, and so I'm a hot rod enthusiast. And to mingle with these guys and to be able to have them like teach me some stuff. For me, really, it's a dream come true. I, I couldn't think of anything cooler, really, for me, so. Very well said, Dave. Yeah. All right, well, cool. Um, back on the road. We're on our way back to V-Town. V Gotta get home. I got shit to do. All right, so, signing out from Gene, Win Gene Winfield School. Um, if you haven't been there, make sure you uh, look Gene up and do it. Watch out for the Mojave Greens. Watch out for the Mojave Greens. Watch out for